going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Country Slicker. We lied to you guys in the last video. We thought we made it to the Rim Rocks and we posted up online about it. We were super excited. We thought the view was amazing. We thought the Rim Rocks were super cool. And it turns out we didn't make it to the Rim Rocks. So it turns out that uh, there is actually an alternative way to a bigger set of Rim Rocks, the real Rim Rocks. Apparently the ones we went to are uh, the miniature ones. So today we're gonna go out on the quad. We're gonna try to find the real Rim Rocks. So apparently bigger rocks, bigger views, super epic. So yeah, we're gonna head out into the back country, see what we can find and stay tuned. If you haven't already, as usual, smack that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate the support and let's get out there. Well, check it out. We uh, we listened to the locals. We took some uh, some advice on where to go, and look at that view. Oh, that is gorgeous. My God, you can see for miles. Hey, how did you, how did you get out there? <laughs> no, don't jump. <laughs> I'm not jumping that. <laughs> Not all who wander are lost. <laughs> Super cool.
for those of you that didn't catch in our last video, the um, the rim rocks came from the formation of the Rocky Mountains. So when the earth was pressing up together, these are some of the plates that came up and just sort of shimmied off to the side. So it didn't actually create mountains, but it just created these chunks. And apparently a few years ago, there was an archeological study that they spent a week up here sampling the rocks and testing it. And that's what they found out. So this crazy hard, hard, yeah, hard rock formations. That's, uh, that's where everything came from. You can actually see if you look over the cliff here, if you guys can see that, there's a couple different rocks down there as well. And yeah, super, super cool area. Really, really neat. If you're ever in the Dawson Creek area, this is uh, this is a place to try and explore. We've been out here for a week trying to find this place. So it's very well hidden. And again, like I said in our last couple of videos, it's clean. There's nothing out here. There's no beer cans. There is no garbage. There's no even, there's I think one fire pit. So super clean and yeah, the locals all respect the area. That's uh, that's definitely something we should be striving for at, uh, at any of the local riding areas. I'm super happy to report that we found the area we had been looking for. A huge th shout out to the locals that corrected us on our spot we had gone initially and pointed us in the right directions of the true rim rocks. To anyone that comes out here, be sure to keep your bear spray on you as we saw lots of bear sign and have a safe ride in and out. When riding alone, always pack the proper gear. Thank you for coming along for another adventure and be sure to subscribe.